Hello, this is Sarah with Posh Pooch Designs, and today's video is part two of our three-part series, Happy Hearts. In part one, we made this Happy Hearts headband, just like the one that I'm wearing. And remember, it came in three sizes, and if you haven't checked out that video, you'll want to watch that video before you watch this video. And I'm going to link that up in the corner. Just give it a, a, a look and you can just click on that and make your Happy Hearts headband. Today's video, part two, we're going to begin after the headband is already made and continue on to make the hat. And this is the hat. You can make it in a regular size beanie or a slouchy, just depending on how many rows you want to stitch. We're going to be using the same yarns that we used for part one which is the Dusty Rose, the Dusty Blue, and this cream. We'll still be stitching with our eye hook, which is a 5.50 millimeter. You'll need your needle for weaving in ends, and you'll need your scissors. So if you haven't made your headband yet, click that link. It'll take you to part one of the Happy Hearts series, and you can make your headband first and then come here to part two and we'll continue on and make it into this lovely hat. So for part two of our Happy Hearts series, we're going to take the headband that we made for part one and turn it into a beanie or slouchy. And the way we do that is we choose our next color. Now I'm going to use this dusty rose, but I think I'm gonna stripe it up a little bit the other hat, I made the top of the beanie solid, but I think I'm gonna stripe it up a little just for fun. Now, when we join our yarn, make sure that you join to the top end, not the bottom, or your hearts will be upside down. So I'm gonna take my beanie, and, or my uh, headband, and I'm going to join my yarn where I ended with my last row. So I'm just gonna go through and join my yarn, and then chain three. Oops, I chained four, didn't I? There we go. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to place one double crochet in each stitch around and then join to the top of that chain three. So our chain three is one double crochet and it's in the first stitch. So we're gonna go in the next stitch. So we're going to yarn over. We're gonna go in that next stitch and pull up a loop yarn over, go through the first two, and yarn over and go through the second two. That's a double crochet. So what we're doing here is one double crochet in each of the half double crochets from the top of the hat all the way around, and then we'll join to the top of that chain three. And this is how it's going to be looking one double crochet in each half double crochet around the top edge of our headband. I completed the first row of my double crochet. Now remember, the amount of double crochets will depend on what size you are making. Of course, there'll be more for the medium and large sizes. So what we're going to be doing is for the next three rows, we're going to be placing one double crochet in each double crochet around, just like we did for this row. We begin with our chain three, and then we stitch three more rows of double crochet, and then we join. I did my four rows of double crochet, and I said earlier I was gonna make it stripy. What I'm doing is I'm doing two rows of the rose color, I'm doing two rows of the cream, and then I'm going to do the next rows in blue. Now, if you're doing the small size like I'm doing, you only do four rows for the beanie hat. If you're doing the medium, you're going to need to do five rows of double crochet. If you're doing the large, you'll need to do six rows of double crochet, and that's for the beanie. Now, if you're doing a slouchy hat, you need to add three additional rows to those amounts. So in other words, this is a small 
it's right for the beanie, but if I want to make it a slouchy, I need to add three more rows of double crochet. But I'm not going to make mine a slouchy. I'm going to make mine just a regular beanie. And so the next row, we'll need to begin doing our decrease rows. So let me repeat that just to make sure you understand. For the small hat, you need four rows of double crochet. For the medium hat, you need five rows of double crochet. For the large hat, you need six rows of double crochet. And if you're going to make any of those sizes into a slouchy instead of a beanie, you'll need to add three additional rows to all of them. And that just makes it a little bit longer so that it has that little slouchiness in the back. So since I'm doing the size small I'm, and I'm making a beanie, I've just got four rows of my double crochet. And I'm doing mine stripey. I did two rows of the rows and two rows of the cream. And now I'm going to do two rows of the blue. And when you're joining colors, make sure that you do your chain three after the color change or you'll end up with a white double crochet or whichever color you're changing to. And I've already cut my cream colored yarn and I added my blue and now I'm going to do my chain three. And the next thing we're going to do is called stitching two double crochets together or a double crochet decrease. And the way we do that is we yarn over we go into our next double crochet and we pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Now you'll go in the next double crochet and pull up a loop. You have four loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and go through the first three, then yarn over and go through the second two. And what that does is that makes a decrease stitch. It makes two double crochets into one. And then we're going to place one double crochet in the next five double crochets. One, two, three, four. We need to do one more. And then we're going to repeat what we just did. Yarn over, go in the first stitch, go into the next stitch, yarn over, go through the first three, yarn over, go through the second two. So we're going to be stitching one double crochet decrease or stitching two double crochets together and then we're going to stitch five double crochets and this is going to make our hat begin to decrease and you can see how it's a little bit pulling oh, just a little bit and the next rows are all going to be decrease rows. One, two, three, four, I need to do one more and then I'm going to do another decrease. So I'll yarn over, go in the next stitch, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch and pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first three, yarn over, go through the last two. And I'm going to repeat this all the way around this row and then join to the top of the chain three. So I finished my first row of decrease stitches. And now we're going to do another row and I'm going to keep my yarn blue. I'm going to switch back to the rows after the next row. So we joined to the top of the chain three and now we chained three. <clears throat> we're going to stitch a double crochet decrease in the next stitch. So we're going to go in and pull up a loop, go in the next one and pull up a loop, go through the first three and go through the second three. And we're going to stitch this just like the previous row, only we're going to only do four double crochets before we do another decrease. So one, two, three, four. And now we're going to do another double crochet decrease or stitching two double crochets together. So yarn over, go through the first loop, go in the next loop, four loops on your hook, go through three, and go through two. Some patterns will call it a double crochet decrease, and some patterns will call it just stitching two double crochets together. Both of them are correct, it's just whichever preference 
the pattern designer says. And I've done it both ways in my patterns. One, two, three, four. And now I'm going to stitch the next two together. And we'll do this all the way around this row till we get back around to our chain three and we'll join and chain three. So double crochet decrease, four double crochets, double crochet decrease, four double crochets, all the way around, join to the top of your chain three. I have to tell you, at this point, this looks like one of those messy bun hats. It would be a perfect messy bun hat because it comes in just enough to give you room at the top to make it a messy bun hat. Anyway, <laughs> just a little fun fact there. We're going to change. I'm changing colors to my next color. If you're not, you don't have to. And I'm just going to cut off my blue and add my rose. And for the next two rows, we're going to continue to do decreases chaining three. Now we did five double crochets and then a decrease in between and then the last row we did four double crochets with a decrease in between. This row we're going to be doing our uh, double crochet decrease and then three double crochets in between. So we're going to do the first two together and then place one double crochet in the next three double crochets. And again, we'll do this all the way around the hat till we reach back around. Now, something I did want to mention, sometimes when you're decreasing like this, when you get to the end of the row, there might only be two double crochets left or three double crochets left within your pattern. Just go ahead and finish off and join. Don't worry if it's, if it's um, like this row, we need three in between and you get here and there's only the last two, just go ahead and put one double crochet in each one and then join. It happens sometimes when you're doing different sizes and um, doing a lot of decrease stitches. So just thought I'd mention that and for this row we're doing three double crochets. One, two, and three, and then one double crochet decrease. So we're repeating three double crochets and then a double crochet decrease all the way around for this row. All right, so we did a double crochet decrease with three in between on this row. And this next row, we're doing it similar. We're gonna chain our three. And now we're going to stitch the first two together like we have been. And then we're only going to place two double crochets between. So one, two. So the pattern on this row is double crochet decrease, two double crochets, double crochet decrease, two double crochets, all the way around. So I've done two, so I'm going to do my double crochet decrease, and then I'm going to put two double crochets, double crochet decrease, and two double crochets, all the way around. And I'm really liking the stripiness of this hat. So we finished this row, two double crochets, and then a double crochet together, two double crochets, two double crochets together, or a double crochet decrease. And now we're on our last row. And so what we're going to do is we're going to chain three like we always do. And then every stitch all the way around is a decrease stitch. So you'll stitch the next two together. Then we'll stitch the next two double crochets together. Then we'll stitch the next two together and we'll do this all the way around our hat. So this last row we did all double crochet decreases all the way around and we're going to tie off and I want you to leave yourself about 12 to 18 inch tail of yarn. And this is because we're going to tie this off and then we're going to turn our hat wrong side out. There's my ends I need to weave in. Let's pull that string through that we just tied off with. We're going to put our needle 
threaded with our yarn. And we're going to take that little circle that's left up there in the top and we're just going to stitch around it and gather it up going in all those stitches. Just going in and out those stitches that we just made. go and basically we're just going to give it a little tug and close it up tight and what I do is I'll make a few stitches to make sure that's not going to come undone <clears throat> and then I'll go a whole all the way back around again the whole way because I don't want my hat to come undone. I'm going to make a few more stitches. There we go. I don't think that's going anywhere. That's in there nice and tight. And then I'll just clip it. And then I'll take a few minutes and weave in these ends. Now, the hat is perfectly fine. There's the top of it so you can see where it's all closed up. And it's perfectly fine without the little tassels. But the little heart tassels are fun. And so I'm just, I'll am just i show you real quick how to make those if you want to add those to the top of your hat. But it really is darling just like this. So here's a heart tassel that I've already made. It's basically a little heart and then we trim it and add a chain. And then we hang it from the hat. And let me show you how I do that. I'm still using my eye hook and I'm going to chain three. And then all the stitches for the center of the heart, we're going to stitch in the third chain from the hook. We're going to begin by stitching three triple crochets. And then we're going to stitch two, um, three actually, double crochets. And we're still working in the same chain. So here's three triple crochets and three double crochets. Then we're going to chain one and stitch one triple crochet right in the center. Then chain one. And then we're going to repeat what we did over here backwards. We're going to do the three double crochets and the three triples. One. Two. Three. And then the three triples. One. Two and three and then we'll chain three and we'll slip stitch right down in that center and leave your uh, loop but go ahead and cut your yarn because we're going to add in that white um, don't worry about the hole I'll show you how to close that and we'll do that after we add the white trim or the cream trim for this one so we're going to join our cream trim in. There we go. And now these, uh, we're going to put a single crochet in the next stitch. And then the next two triple crochets, we're going to place two single crochets. So there's one, two, and that's just so that it moves around the top of the little heart bump nicely. So there's two single crochets and then we're going to work down and do one single crochet in each of the stitches down to the corner of the point of the heart. And now we're at the point of the heart. Uh, the first chain two space, we're going to put one single crochet there. Then we're going to place two single crochets in that point. And then one single crochet in the chain one space and then one single crochet in the next three single crochets 
next three double crochets. Those are double crochets we're working in. Then we'll place one more single crochet. And then we're going to place two single crochets in those two triple crochets at the top. Like I said, that just helps it move around nice and smooth. And then we'll place one single crochet in that chain. And then we're going to join right here to that first single crochet. And then we're going to chain 10 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we'll go ahead and cut our yarn. <clears throat> All right. Now it has a nice big hole in the center, so let's turn it to the back and we'll take one of those pieces of yarn and we'll close up that hole. Sometimes when you stitch in a chain two or chain three beginning circle, you end up with a little bit of a hole. And depending on how tightly you stitch or how loosely you stitch, it makes a difference between the size of the hole. All right, so we're just gonna close that up by gently tugging I'll move that like that. There we go. We're just going to gently tug that hole closed. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and tie a little knot. All right, now we need to weave those in. And there's your heart. So now we have two heart tassels. So the way that I add my tassels on or tassels is I take my crochet hook and I go up inside my hat and I go right in the center and I grab both of those strings that's on the end of them and I just pull them through my hat there they are and I pull them until I get to the point where the um, the chain portion comes through and I'll tie them together like that and then I'll go through um, another stitch, but not going all the way through to the front because I don't want the white to show through. So I'm just going to go through a couple of back stitches and do another little loop and a knot just so I know they're going to stay put. I don't think they're going anywhere, but I don't want them to come off. All right, so it looks like I have some weaving in to do, doesn't it? So there's our heart tassels. And of course, you don't have to do them if you don't want to. It's just a fun little added touch. And I think they're a lot of fun if you're making this for a little girl or a little boy might like some nice bright red hearts or something. So anyway, there's the heart tassels and there's the hat. Happy hearts, hat. Now part three of our series of our happy hearts patterns will be the happy hearts cowl.